So how can we deploy an application across multiple regions consistently and even multiple accounts? For this, you can use stack sets in CloudFormation. So stack sets allow you to create, update, or delete stacks across multiple accounts and multiple regions with a single operation. The administrator account has access to create stack sets, and then trusted accounts allow the administrator account to create, update, and delete stack instances directly from the stack sets. So when you update a stack set in the administrator account, all the associated stacks instances are updated throughout all the accounts in region. We'll see this in hands-on, don't worry. And you have the ability to set a maximum amount of concurrent actions on the targets as a number or a percentage. And you also have the ability to say the number of failures you can tolerate as a number or a percentage. So this is extremely helpful once you start having a global architecture and you want to have global CloudFormation templates deployed in multiple regions and multiple accounts. So let's have a go at how this works. So let's go into CloudFormation. And in CloudFormation, we've seen all there is to see about stacks, but what about stack sets? And so stack sets are right here and we have never used them. So let's go ahead and use those right now. But first we need to do some IAM permissions. So as I said, there was an administrator account and then there were some trusted accounts. And so we need to create the IAM roles that will be necessary for these accounts to exist. And so thankfully this uh, documentation page has some CloudFormation templates that will allow us just to do that. So here is a CloudFormation template and I'm going to copy the link address and this will create an IAM role named AWS CloudFormation Stack Set Administration Role. So let's assume that we have the administrator accounts and we'll create a stack and I'll say the stack is here. I'll click on next and I'll say administrator account uh, CloudFormation Stack Sets. Okay, and I'm going to click on next, next, and finally, everything looks good. I'm going to acknowledge that this will create IAM roles and click on create stack. So this goes ahead and creates the first IAM role we need. And then the trusted account is also going to be the same account as we have here, uh, because we actually need this account uh, to be doing the multi-region stuff. We don't do multi-account in this hands-on, just multi-region. And so for this, um, we need to go to a target account, so ours, and we can just copy this, uh, templates, okay, and then we'll be prompted to provide the name of the administrator account on which we have a trusted relationship, okay? So let's have a look at this. So we'll have the execute on this role. So I'll refresh this page. Everything is beginning created right now, so I'll just wait a second. And now the create is complete. So we have a resource being created and that's an IAM role that does everything we need to do. And so we'll go ahead and create a new stack and I'll put the URL for the stack set execution role. Click on next. And here we need to put a parameter, which is the administrator account ID. So this is where we need to provide our own ID, but I think I could have this from here. Here we go. So I'm just going to be the ID. Um, I'll just copy this entire thing and then get the ID out of it. So here we go. We have the administrator account ID, and this is the accounts where this tax text will be created. And this one I'll say um, target account I am role stack sets. Okay. And click on next. Click on next and scroll all the way down. This will create another IAM role, so that's perfect. And click on create stack. So let's wait for this to be over. Okay, so this stack is created. And now if I go back to my stack sets, I should be able to create my first stack sets. So let's talk about a problem that we have. Say, for example, we go to config. And you may remember that we did config in this course. And so if we go to config, we can see that we can track all the resources within my region. And I'm in EU West 1. But if I go to, say, US East 1, for example, in this example, well, config is not configured. And if I go to US East 2, well, config is not configured either. And so what I'm trying to show you here is that I would like config to be deployed in every single region that I'm operating in, right? So what I'm going to do is use a sample template in here because the template is already created for me, but this is just a normal CloudFormation template that we have in here. And I'm going to choose the template enable AWS config. If you're curious, you can go to this URL and see what it creates. It creates just a bunch of resources that are needed to create a configuration to track the resources within the account. So let's click on next. And I'm going to here in the stack name, say, enable AWS config. And uh, the stack set description is the exact same. And now for the parameters, so include global resource types, yes. Uh, resource types, all, notification email, none. Topic ARN, none. Um, new topic, sorry. Delivery channel name, generated. Frequency, 24 hours. And all supported, all resource types, yes. So we don't touch any of these parameters. They all work just fine. I'll click on next. 
And here we should say the IN role execution name. So this AWS CloudFormation stack set execution role is the one we have created directly from the CloudFormation stacks from before. So let's go to roles and let me look for this role. And right now it doesn't exist because I haven't refreshed. Here we go, it exists. Here it is. And so it's going to use this role to execute on the account. Excellent. Click on next. And now I can say in which accounts do I want to deploy this? And so I can deploy in different accounts or different org organizational units if I'm using AWS organization to manage my accounts. But I'm just using accounts right now. And I'll specify the account number I'm currently in. So I'll just copy this and extract the account number. So here is my account number. And I could have multiple um, account numbers by just having commas. So I can just have many commas and have many different accounts. But for now, I'll just have one because we want to deploy only within my account. And then for a specific region, I'm going to say, okay, deploy to US East Northern Virginia and deploy to uh, US, uh, I'm going to say, uh, EU London. I'm not deploying to my region Ireland because I don't know if that's going to conflict with the configuration I've already done. So I know these two haven't been enabled, so I'll just enable these two right now. So you can add all regions, you can remove all regions, you can select the regions you want, you're free to do however you want. And then we can say how many concurrent accounts we can have at a time. So we're saying, okay, one at a time. That means that only one of these two regions will be deployed first, so maybe Northern Virginia. And then when it's done, it will move on to the London. And if we have fault tolerance, if we say zero, that means that if one of those fail, then everything fails and rolls back. Whereas if we have a number saying one, we allow one region to fail. So we'll just say zero because we don't want any failures and click on next. Okay, we can review everything. So this is a normal CloudFormation template that's just going to be deployed in all the regions right here, specified here in this account. And let's say yes, I'm good to go and click on submit. And here we go. So this is going on and now we can look at the operations. So the create is running, okay? And we can look at stack instances, which is, okay, where the stack is being created. And right now it says outdated. So it's user initiated operation. So let's see what happens. Um, if we go to stack set info. Okay, so right now the stack is being created. So this is why it says outdated. So we just need to wait a little bit. So what we can do in the meantime, though, is go to US East 1 and see if the stack is being created over there. So I'm in EU East, uh, US East 1 and I'm going to stacks and we can see this there's a stack named stack set and the create is complete. So this stack creation has worked. And if I went into config console for uh, this region, I should see some configuration and hopefully everything will be configured already. So let's have a look, get started and the configuration might already be included, so let's wait, let's wait a little bit. Here we go. So we can see from the dashboard that the resources are currently being discovered. So that means that this stack set has been applied in EU, uh, US East 1. And because US East 1 has now finished, it's current, and now the other region uh, is getting on with the uh, rollout of the CloudFormation template. And that's because I choose um, a configuration, if you remember, of one region at a time uh, for the maximum amount of concurrent operations. So let's just wait for this to be over. And now they're both current and my AWS config enable has been done on these two regions. But I can do something really cool. I can add new stacks to a stack sets and say, okay, use the same account. So use the same account number, but I would like you to add a region and please add Singapore. Okay, and I'll just say next and we'll have the same parameters. So we'll click on next and everything looks good. We submit this. And here we go. Now we're going to have a third stack instance being created in AP Southeast one. So it's really easy to do multi-region deployment and multi-account deployment directly from this UI. Uh, similarly, you could um, uh, you can delete stack from the stack sets. So you can say which regions and which accounts you want to delete stacks from. So that could be really handy. And you could altogether delete this stack set, which will delete all the stacks from the stack sets, obviously. And when you think about it, the use cases for stack set are huge. I mean, any template that works in multi-region will work as a stack set. So it's quite powerful because this is the same CloudFormation template. But if you look at the sample templates of what we may want to have enabled by this feature, they're really nice. For example, enabling CloudTrail in all the regions. This is done with one stack set. Uh, config, guard duty, 
and then maybe you want to add config rules like root account MFA enabled, role crowd trail enabled, EIP attached, and encrypted volumes uh, as roles directly on all the config that we have created in all the regions. So those are just some examples that you can have with TaxEd, but anytime you want to deploy a CloudFormation template across multiple regions, then you would need to use stack sets. And then so we see multiple operations, multiple uh, things are done. And so when we're ready, we click on action, delete stack sets, and this will delete everything. And so we need to first delete all the stacks from the stack sets. So I'll add all the regions and my accounts. Here we go. So this is added. And now I can go ahead and delete uh, three at a time, for example, and click on next, and then click on submit. So here we go. Now the operation to delete all the stack set is running. And now this operation has succeeded. And what I can do next and see that I have zero stack instances. And now I can go ahead and delete this stack set altogether. So that's it for this lecture on stack sets. Whenever you see global deployment, think CloudFormation stack sets. Hope that was helpful. And I will see you in the next lecture.